close your eyes and watch your breath. And then watch it continually, all the way in, all the way out. It's staying with it continually that you begin to make some changes in the mind. So keep with the breath as much as you can. If you lose your focus, just reestablish it as soon as you realize it. You're developing good qualities in the mind as you do this. Mindfulness, which is the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, watching what you're doing. And then ardency, the effort to do it well. These are qualities that are useful in all kinds of activities, so it's good to practice them. And it's good to practice them with something that's nearby, like the breath, and something that's always with you, like the breath. This way, wherever you go, you can create merit, you can create happiness. Merit is one of those words they don't use too much in Western Buddhism, but it's a very important concept. It's the goodness and the happiness that comes from do doing good. Which is not like the happiness that comes from getting nice sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. It comes from deeper in the mind and goes deeper into the mind. There are three types of activities for making merit all, all together. There's generosity, there's virtue, and there's meditation. And different people tend to be heavy on one side or another. But if you want your happiness to be complete, well, you want to make sure the causes are complete. So you look at yourself. Where are you lacking? Some people like to meditate, but they're not, not much into virtue or generosity. Other people are into the generosity. Don't meditate all that much. That's like having a stool with uneven legs. One leg is long, another leg is short. It's hard to sit comfortably on the stool. But all three legs are equal. In other words, they're all in balance. Okay, then it's easier to sit on the stool. So remember, the happiness comes from the good qualities you develop in the mind. It doesn't come from things outside. It comes from your intention to do something that's good, something that doesn't create divisions. Because the happiness that comes from merit actually erases divisions. The happiness that comes from material gain, it comes from status, it comes from praise, it comes from sensory pleasures, that creates divisions. Because you gain something, somebody else has to lose. They gain, you lose. That creates divisions right there. But with generosity, you gain, when you give them something away, you gain the quality of mind that comes from being generous, and the other person gains the material things or the other things that you give. The same with virtue. You benefit from your own virtue, other people benefit from your virtue too. Even more when you meditate. Your mind calms down. Less greed, less aversion, less delusion, less of these things to bother yourself or to bother the people around you. So remember, this is a goodness that spreads its goodness around. It erases boundaries instead of creating them. This is something we especially need in this world right now, where so many boundaries are being thrown up. This group is divided from that group, is divided from that group, divided from that group, and it turned into lots of little groups where nobody can work together. When people can't work together, then nothing really great gets accomplished. So try to develop the kind of goodness that erases those boundaries so that people will have a, an attitude that they want to work together. You see this in your family, you see this in your neighborhood, you see this all around. Generosity is what creates human society. Virtue is what creates human society, makes it human. For all too many people, what's lacking is the, is the meditation that gives you the inner strength to stick with your generosity, stick with your virtue, and see how deep inside the mind the benefits of doing good can go.